Hey guys, check out this new item I got for our travel trailer. It's called Sensor Push. It is a smart sensor, humidity, and temperature monitor, and it works off Bluetooth. And basically, this little block you install here in the travel trailer, and then you can monitor the humidity and the temperature on your phone through the Sensor Push app. Now, the reason I was interested in Sensor Push is because I wanted to not only monitor the temperature inside the travel trailer, but I also wanted to monitor the humidity. My parents had a travel trailer years ago, and it had a leak at the front. I really believe if we would have been able to monitor the humidity inside the travel trailer at the time, we could have detected a leak and repaired that instead of having to replace the whole front of the travel trailer, which was damaged by this leak. So now let me show you how quick and easy it is to set up and install. Here is the sensor push block, and it is just a small little block, maybe a little over an inch square. It does come with a little piece of two-sided tape so you can attach it to the wall and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to attach it to the wall. Okay, here is the Central Push app. Let's go into that and it says add device to start. Now I haven't even read the directions but this thing is going to be pretty simple to set up. It says add device so I'm going to do that. Now it says add sensor or add gateway. The sensor connects with Bluetooth to the phone but if you're not close enough to the phone for Bluetooth to connect you can get a gateway. A gateway works off of Wi-Fi and allows that signal to be sent through Wi-Fi so that you can monitor this pretty much anywhere. So let me get this thing started. I'm going to add the sensor. I don't have a gateway so I'm going to add the sensor. Hold your sensor over the image and allow sensor push to access location. Okay, once you have it connected it prompts you to change the name. You can make it whatever. I'm going to leave mine at new sensor 1. I don't have any other sensors so we'll leave it at that. The desired conditions. I don't want mine to drop below 32 degrees. I don't want it freezing in here so if it drops below 32 degrees I know the heat's not working out here and I have an issue. Also if it goes above 90 it will alert me. We keep the air on during the summer and we keep it at about 80 you'll see in shortly that it's a little higher than 80 right now because I have the air off so you can hear me talk but you can do the alert me or not and I'm gonna leave it and alert me so with the relative humidity I have it set at 84 that's just because I don't want to get alerts yet because I don't know what the average is if you look down here it says that the temperature is 84.9 right now because I have the air off so you can hear me talk and the relative humidity is at 44.2. Once I determine that average, I'll be able to adjust the humidity here so that it alerts at a, at a good point. So um, once it's alerted on either one of those, I can come out and check it and see what's going on. And it shows hour, day, week, month, and year. If you want to look back and, and get an average, if you want to look back and uh, see so right here, it shows um, for the with well, the hour let me look at a week for the last week the average humidity has been minimum 42.2 average is 44.2 so um, I may do for the last year just to see what the average is in humidity and uh, there you can see I have the max set at 90.5 but the average has been 47.2 so if I set this thing at 60 uh, 55 or 60 I will probably be safe not getting alerts until something really is wrong but the temperature the average temperature has been 77.9 because we keep the air on in here all right you see what it is now 84.6 degrees Fahrenheit and the relative humidity 43.9 that's just really cool really cool that you can access this on your phone away from here and and know what's going on. Keep tabs on your travel trailer. So I was trying to decide the best spot to locate the central push here in the travel trailer and I decided right here. Why not right here beside the thermostat? So that's where I'm gonna put it. Okay, it is installed and I'm ready to go with that. Let me tell you one thing that I did though. I did not use the two-sided tape that they provided. I used Gorilla Tape. The Gorilla Tape I use is rated at 30 pounds Everything that we install here inside our travel trailer, if it goes on the wall, I use Gorilla Tape. It's really good. I haven't had anything fall off. We've got a couple pieces of artwork, actually, 
hung up there uh, in the kitchen area in one of the bedroom. I use the 30 pound grill to take and it doesn't matter how hot or cold it gets in here, the stuff stays on the wall and we don't have to worry about it. So the benefit, if I want to pull this thing off, now check this out. The way you change the battery is you have to pop the back off. The Gorilla Tape holds this good enough. I don't have to worry about it coming off. I can just pop it off. The back stayed on there. It's supposed to come off. And then you can access the inside to change the battery. Put it back on. Pop it on and it's there. All right guys, that's it. That's my review of the Centripush humidity and temperature monitor. I will put links to Centripush in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.